For some who live an active lifestyle, running a 5K might be an enjoyable way to spend a Saturday. But for the more intense athletes who enjoy a physical challenge, the Paul Bunyan Extreme Race was held over the weekend in Nisswa. Sarah Winkleman has that story. Over 500 contestants hit the hills running on Mount Skeagol on Saturday. The family fun atmosphere was full of groups, individuals, and families conquering the course throughout the day. With many obstacles throughout the 3.2 mile race, there were several volunteers at each station guiding the participants through. For volunteers Julie Kroll and her daughter Kasia, it was their first extreme race and they were set up by the spider ladder. Yeah, they're pretty worn out by that point because they just came up the hill. They're wet already. Out of the 21 obstacles in the course, many of them involved water and mud, making the experience not only fun for all ages, but providing a unique challenge around each corner. It's fun to see a you know, range of people from athletic to, you know, just those who just do common person um, out here just having fun groups coming out together and just really enjoying the time together and cheering each other on. Even though many of the participants said the obstacles were challenging, the hardest part for many of them was getting up those hills. Oh, the hills were tough. They were tough. The hills are probably the toughest thing for me today. You can't even run up them. You gotta like crawl. Now it may sound terrible, but the contestants were having a blast trying out all of the obstacles, running to the next one as fast as possible, just to see what surprise was next. The first place winner, Derek Justin from Brainerd, finished the race in 27 minutes even, with the second place runner, Chris Bunnis of Baxter, crossing the finish line with a time of 27 minutes and 4 seconds. The general just starts going and you just kind of get your little second wind or third wind, fourth wind, whatever you call it, and you just kick her down and just head for that finish line. Upon completing the race, contestants were caked with mud from head to toe, so the Pillager Fire Department stepped up, brought their hoses, and sprayed them off. Many of the participants I spoke with said they were tired, but it was well worth it. Reporting in Niswa, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. The money raised on Saturday will go towards children ski lessons at Mount Skigo, as well as the local high school trap and skeet shooting teams. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.